Hi, here is the trail run of my spaghetti extractor. I need to load the material there, so I will need to disassemble this. First I need to remove this concentrator. Then I need to remove the tube containing the material with special tweezers. This is a little bit finicky, so it's not optimal, but I guess works for this thing. I have some white pepper from which I will extract essential oils and stuff. So let me put it all in. And then again I will need to assemble these things in reverse order. And again the loading is finicky with these tweezers. But it's a prototype, so there is room for improvement. So here goes concentrator. And finally a solvent. I need to make sure to not overfill the tube with material. Also if I wasn't stupid I would put in some solvent already. Okay, so we are ready pretty much, so I turn on heat and let's see how this goes. Okay, so you can see vapor front moving and we are starting to collect solvent, so that's good. Also the vapor front is not passing cooler, so that's good. But soon we will overfill the tube with material for extraction. So either I should use smaller batch or fine tune the thermal regulation somehow. But in any case, to prevent overfilling, I can just remove this collector. And finally, I let this thing run for about 15 minutes. I'm not going to compare somehow the efficiency of the system, because obviously it's much worse, because the solvent is exposed to the vapors that will heat it up and evaporate it, so that's kinda bad. But you can see that you can adapt the system to do extractions of quite massive objects, basically. And that is without really using any expensive glassware. I mean, there is obviously a lot of empty space in the place where the extraction occurs. And really, the bigger thing you can fit there, the more efficient the extraction will be itself. But overall, I am very happy with this system. I think I will do some improvements, but I am pretty happy to use this as is. Now when you are done with one batch, you can easily load new one in with these tweezers basically. So there is no need to interrupt the process and disassemble glassware or anything like that. But I am pretty much done so I will turn off the hot plate and disassemble this thing. Okay, so that's about it for now and see you next time.